Vault Hunters, it's Echo here, Queen of the Loot Goblins, bringing you another Borderlands 3 video. In today's video, I am extremely excited to bring you my updated Bomber Mose build. If you are not familiar with Bomber Mose, it is a build that focuses on the Minesweeper class mod. Since my last video on Bomber Mose, they have made some changes to her, beefing up her survivability with lifesteal and adding splash damage boost to her skills. So I got to work. If you have been watching my streams, I have tested every type of synchronicity that her skill trees have to offer, from deathless to bottomless mags, giving up short fuse for forge, and so on. This build I have for you today is by far my favorite of all that I have tested. I would also like to shout out Prismatic as he lent his ear and helped me in this theory crafting process. Thanks Priz, I really appreciate you. With this build, I bring survivability not only to ourselves, but Iron Bear as well. I bring a lot of damage and of course, EXPLOSIONS! Melting our enemies into nothingness. This build packs such a punch without giving up any survivability. Just a heads up, I am not going to get heavily into the ins and out of the Minesweeper comm as I have recently come out with a Minesweeper Explained video shown at the top of the screen now. I highly recommend watching that before proceeding to this video as that may have answers to questions that you have regarding this comm. Here are the skill trees that I have chosen. Feel free to pause the video now and copy them down. Stay tuned for the explanation as to why I've chosen this skill set. Our personal survivability can be summed up with four skills. Redistribution, giving us health regeneration upon each critical hit. Russian Offensive, giving us 8% lifesteal when sprinting and shooting. My favorite survivability skill, a full can, this allows our shields to immediately start recharging when entering Iron Bear. This skill is a lifesaver in a pinch, especially when you're looking to Iron Bear to provide cover. And finally, we have three points in Vampire. Vampire restores missing health per enemy hit with a grenade. The best part of using Vampire with the Minesweeper Calm is our Minesweeper Nade emulates a utility grenade, therefore allowing us to gain health from the micro grenade that drops. This skill comes in handy, as you don't even need to spam nades to receive this bonus. And an added bonus is Security Bear. This gives Iron Bear a bubble shield that reduces damage. This bubble also applies to you if you stand inside of it. Moving on to our damage, splash, and the explosions department. Got the explosives? Best day ever! Let's start with the shield of retribution tree. We've put 4 points into armored infantry. This is giving us 12% gun damage and 11% damage reduction. Next we have maxed out drowning in brass. Drowning in brass is a kill skill granting 20% gun damage each kill, up to 3 kills and has a 15 second duration. Moving on to our Bottomless Mags tree, we've picked up and maxed out Scrappy. This skill gives us 30% weapon damage and also provides handling, swap speed, and mode switch speed. Next is such a great pickup when using the Minesweeper, Scorching RPMs. This gives us fire rate and critical hit damage, which is vital in beefing up our micro grenade. This brings us to Splash and Explosive damage. In our Demolition Woman tree, we have Torx Cross Promotion. This gives us 30% splash damage, but it comes with a price, which is 15% chance to double the radius. This means keep your distance. Lastly, going to our capstone, short fuse. This gives us a 20% secondary explosion and does a ton of damage. I'd like to heed warning though, treat Moe's as a demolition expert. You wouldn't throw a grenade or a pack of C4 at your feet and expect to live. This build is no different. Not to fret though, if you accidentally go into fight for your life, second wins are easy peasy, and I'll show you the guns that are best to use with this build. The last skill I wanted to talk to you about is maybe the most important when using the Minesweeper Calm. The skill is Pull the Holy Pin. With Pull the Holy Pin, it allows grenades a chance to score a critical hit. It also gives the grenade greatly increased damage. 
This is vital when dealing with enemies that have a crit spot on their back, such as Nogs, Genevieve, or even Trant. Since our micro grenade acts like a utility grenade, it also has the chance to score a critical hit. And that is how crit chains begin, making the enemy literally go poof. The reason that the Minesweeper is so good is because it doesn't just work on bosses, but is highly effective when it comes to mobbing, as well as taking out hordes of enemies in an instant. These skills were tested repeatedly and chosen to allow Moe's to have it all. The survivability, not only with her, but Iron Bear is outstanding. The damage output is second to none. And the ability to boss and mob without changing a thing, well, that's simply phenomenal to say the least. The Minesweeper is by far my favorite comm in this entire game. Not just for Moe's, but all the Vault Hunters I've played. Even if you don't play Moe's, I urge you, try this out. You won't be disappointed. Starting with my action skill, I've always thought Vanquisher Rocket Pods are best in slot. And as for my augments, I use Target Softening because it acts as a debuff to enemies the same way that the Eruption or the Peenade does. And as for my second slot, I go with Hammer Down Protocol. This deals radiation damage. You see, putting different elements on enemies is crucial if you want to take advantage of your Guardian Rank. The skill Harmageddon states that enemies take 5% more damage per unique status effect affecting them. So, we have rad damage from our action skill augment, Hammer Down Protocol, and this is also the reason we have put one point into Fire in the Skag Den. This will give us incendiary damage if we use splash weapons. Then let's say we use a different element for our weapon, such as Cryo or Shock. This is giving us three unique elements. Then let's take it one step further and put a bonus element anointment on our shield. This is giving us four unique elements, and going back to Harmageddon, enemies now take 20% more damage. Now I can't speak for everyone, but unless I'm testing raw damage, I play with Guardian Rank on and take full advantage of all of the skills, such as Harmageddon. This is now giving us 20% extra damage, and this is not something that I want to overlook. Moving on to the modifiers that I use. So for the raid, I like to use Galaxy Brain and Buddy System. I enjoy using the recursion, so Buddy System doesn't really affect me, and Galaxy Brain helps with hitting crits. After all, the goal is to hit all critical hits. And if you're confident in your shot, I'd say Holy Crit is also a good option, and if you don't need Galaxy Brain, OK Boomer or Speed Demon would be fine as well. Now for bossing, I use more than OK Boomer for the easy modifier. This gives grenades an increase of damage of 25%, so our Minesweeper Micro Grenade will get that buff too. And as for the very hard, it's holy crit all day. As for the medium and hard modifiers, I try to stay away from any of the infused modifiers and especially pain tolerance and ticked off. Those are a hard no for me. Now on to weapons and gear. So for single target, I've been using the Kaosin. This is shredding enemies. And I've also been getting into the No Pew Pew. And for mobbing, I like the Redistributor, the Reflux, and the Recursion. Mostly the Recursion. I've been using that on the raid and it's been shredding. Also some alternative choices are the Clairvoyance, Alchemist, and the Krakatoa. Now these don't have a fast rate of fire, but the micro grenade base damage that drops puts out crit chains in the hundreds of millions. Now for bossing, the Sandhawk by far is superior, but the Monarch is also good as well. They drop a crazy amount of micro grenades that make the enemy go poof. Best anointments would be 160 splash anointment from Moe's, 125 splash anointments, consecutive hits, or even 100 ASC. Whatever guns you have, just make it work. Those, I would say, are the best on single target weapons. Now, for our mobbing weapons, I like to take next two mags, especially on like the recursion or the reflux. Uh, this is just to get an extra pellet, and that's just my preference, of course. For bosses, I'd go the 300 over 90, or you can get away with consecutive hits. That's up to you. Try out your weapons. Don't take my word for it. Do your own testing. Now there are some weapons that I'd like to caution you about, and this is the Yellow Cake and the OPQ. These 
weapons can down you so easily because of the blast radius that we're creating. Now the other weapon I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Kibs. Now I love the Kibs Worth, but it just doesn't produce as many micro grenades as I'd like. It's still a good weapon, it's just not ideal. As far as my shield goes, I like to switch it up between a few different options. If I'm doing the story, DLC, Trials, Circles of Slaughter, I like to use either the Old God or the Stopgap with an anointment of bonus corrosive damage. For the raid, I always like to use the Transformer. I really like the 100% shock resistance and also the 40% chance to absorb bullets is also phenomenal. Now when I boss, I like to take an amp shield. If you've got a one-shotter, that's even better. As for the nade I'm using right now, it's the P-nade, but when phase two hits, I'll be hunting for a scaled cloning maddening tracker grenade. For my nade anointment, I like to take on grenade throne because it falls into our V2 category and is multiplicative in Moses damage formula. This has proven to be more beneficial than a bonus element anointment. Now for my artifact, I like to use a snowdrift. The passives that I like to get are grenade damage and AOE on it. No matter what artifact I can find, I want the passives on it to be grenade damage and AOE damage. That is going to buff up our Minesweeper grenade. As for our Minesweeper comm, the skills that I want are one in redistribution. This is going to give us more ammo and health regeneration. and for other skill, you want as many points as possible in Torg's Cross Promotion. This is going to give us more splash damage. And for the passives that you want on your comm, it's going to have to be splash damage and grenade damage all day. This is just going to buff our Minesweeper even more. In the third passive, you can get crit damage, weapon damage, you know, weapon specific is fine as well. But the main ones that you're looking for is splash and grenade damage buffs. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our upgraded Bomber Mose build. If you've learned something, please go ahead and hit that like button or just do it because you love me. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, happy looting.